Hi boys and girls, happy Sunday to all of you. I am so glad that you've joined me again this week for Sunday School. I have a new story to share in my book, My Bible Friends, and I hope you um, understand its message by the time we're done. It's a very important message from Jesus to you. This story is called David, the youngest boy. There he is. Eight brothers standing in the in a row. The youngest boy at the end of the row is David. David and his brothers lived on a farm near a small town. David was a shepherd's boy. He took care of his father's sheep. To David's town came a Samuel the prophet. The prophet invited all the people to have a special feast. David's brothers were going to the feast. David's father was going to the feast. But the brother said to David, you are too young to go. You stay home with the sheep. Hmm. Have you ever had that happen to you where you get left out of something? Well, David took his harp under his arm he tucked his sling in his belt and he opened the gate to the sheep pen. Come sheep, come lambs, he called. The sheep followed David down the path. Black lamb and curly lamb walked on each side of David. David led the sheep to a green grassy place. With the older sheep, while the older sheep nibbled grass, black lamb and curly lamb played jumping games and bunting games with the other lambs. David played tunes on his harp and kept close watch of the sheep. Black lamb began to wander away up over the hill. David put down his harp and ran after him. He brought back lamb, black lamb back to the flock. Then David saw a weed that would make the sheep sick if they ate it. He pulled up the weed and threw it away. A jackal sneaked around a rock toward the sheep. David stamped his foot and the jackal ran away. My goodness, David is doing a great job protecting the sheep, isn't he? While his dad and brothers are at the feast. David took his sling from his belt. It was a long, long sling that his father had made for him from strong brown leather. He put a smooth stone in the, the sling. Now what should he hit? That red rock? He would try. Around and around and around he swung his sling. Zing! Went the stone, ping! right into the red rock. He hit that, he hit that um, rock way over there. David put another stone into the sling. He would aim for that round hole in the tree. Around and around and around he swung the sling. Zing! Went the stone straight into the round black hole of the tree. Then David heard a noise. It, was, it wasn't a hopping, thumping sound like a rabbit running through the grass. No, it wasn't a rabbit. It wasn't a picking, pecking noise like a bird pecking on a tree. Mm, no, it wasn't a bird. It wasn't a snuffing, gruffing noise like a big animal prowling around. It was... Oh my goodness, boys and girls, do you have any guesses about what you think it might be? It was a bear, a fierce brown bear, and he was sneaking closer and closer and closer to where the lambs were playing. The bear crept up behind a bush, ready to catch Curly Lamb as she ran by. Quickly, David put a stone in his sling. He ran straight toward the bear. Around and around and around, he swung the sling. 
Zing went the stone. It hit the fierce brown bear and the bear fell dead. David picked up frightened little curly lamb and carried her in his arms. Black lamb kept, kept close by his side. Come sheep, come lamb, said David. And he led them to a place where they would be safe. While the older sheep nibbled the new green grass, black lamb and curly lamb again played jumping games with the other lambs and David played tunes on his harp. Now, while David was watching the sheep, Samuel the prophet made ready the feast. David's father was at the feast. David's brothers were at the feast. Before they sat down to eat, the prophet said to David's father, have your boys walk before me one by one. Today, God will choose one of them for something very special. David's oldest brother walked before the prophet. No, not this boy, said the prophet. The next oldest brother walked before the prophet. No, not this boy, said the prophet. And then the next oldest brother walked before the prophet. What do you think the prophet said? He said, no, not this boy. One by one, David's brothers walked before the prophet. But each time the prophet said, no, not this boy. Then the prophet asked David's father, have you no other boys? Only the youngest boy, he is herding the sheep. Send and get him, said the prophet. David came running, his harp under his arm, his sling in his belt, his cheeks were red, the wind blew his hair. Walk before the prophet, David, said his father. David walked before the prophet. This is the one, said the prophet, this is the boy that God chooses. Oh my goodness. The prophet poured sweet smelling oil on David's head to show that he was the chosen one. Now we shall sit down to the feast, said the prophet. A place was made for David, and he sat with his fathers and bro brothers. Why had David been chosen? What would he do? How do you think his brothers may have been feeling to have their youngest brother chosen for such an important role? No one knew. It was a secret. David's father didn't know. David's brother didn't know. David didn't know. Only the prophet and God knew that someday David would be king and David would be as good a king as he was a shepherd's boy. Now, the, the lesson that I hope you learned from this story, boys and girls, is that God has a plan for each and every one of us. He knows our whole story and he has a plan. He has a plan for me and he has a plan for you, each of you. We must put our trust in him and he will, um, he will lead us to our plan. But it might not be what we thought. David's father thought and his brothers thought, oh, he's the youngest. He doesn't need to come to this important feast. But God had a different plan. I just want you to remember that you are a special child of God and God has a plan for you. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you in Sunday school next week. And until then, remember to be kind, be friendly, and be helpful in everything you do. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.